this whole process is all based on the honor system. Guam Election Commission John Bloss is talking about being honest about an election law that a candidate must file what's called an organizational report within 10 days after receiving campaign contributions in the amount of $100,000 or more. You know, the onus, the responsibility is on the candidate, him or herself, or the committee. Campaign filings show Senators Calvo and Tenorio did not do that. Husband and father with an unbreakable the Republican team, which is running on a campaign of honesty and open government for Adeloupe, reached the $100,000 mark in late September, but did not file a report until June 18th, nine months and $900,000 after they should have. The filing also shows the team has contributions totaling more than a million dollars, about half of that coming from Senator Calvo himself. I don't feel there's anybody better than Frank and Carl. Democrats Guterres and Uggen also filed theirs late, reaching the $100,000 threshold in mid-October and filing in January. Campaign chairperson Mayor Bob Lozama says it was unintentional. This is something, of course, that we, we don't take lightly. Uh, we want to be able to be uh, uh, open to the people of Guam and letting them know and assuring them, ensuring them that we are, you know, uh, making sure that our books are are kept in order. Their total contributions as of the filing was about $126,000. About half has been spent. We also reached out to the Calvo Tenorio camp with several phone calls and emails, but no one was available to comment. As far as what happens when one violates that law, Blas says the Election Commission's Board of Directors will have to decide. And in most cases, they would refer the matter to the Attorney General's office. And, and for them to determine uh, whether or not they need to move forward with prosecution.